So let's now work on this glass area. I am going to go back into default. Um, now I'm not sure why when I go into rendered mode here, the background is a solid color. Um, for my guessing would be that the environment texture is not mapped and it's just showing the average color. But if we move into here, we got a lot of these speckles here. So I'm going to go into camera settings. So I'm just going to go through the settings that I find that this works for a majority of my pro um, projects. So first off, I'm going to go into light maps and I'm going to change the maximum time the light bounces just down to four. I'll leave it at three. Diffuse one, gloss one, transmission four. You can see that it goes a little bit darker, but that's okay. Um, and then from here, we can go into, sorry, okay, let's talk about this Y. So from my understanding is the bounces is the amount of times the light bounces through an object, like how many times it bounces around. So for instance, goes through the glass, onto the chair, and then onto this, that's three. Transparency is how many times light needs to pass through a tra transparent object. So if I had nine layers of transparent mesh, it would be a solid black on that ninth one. That's caught me out quite a few times, but that's something just to be aware of that, let's say if you're doing a smoke simulation and you've got a lot of um, alpha channels, you need to bump the transparency up or it's just, it's not gonna work and you have a lot of black blotches everywhere. So let's go back over to here. Um, I'm going to go into sampling now. Now, maximum value, so which one's this? This is direct light. I put this one to one and clamp in is 0.5 because it's indirect. And pretty much it seems to have, it lowers the quality, but we get rid of those darn fireflies. Now I'm just going to bump up the render to 500. Uh, where's my camera? I'm just going to press zero for my camera. I don't have the camera selected as my, come on. I don't have the camera selected where, okay, ships upside down. Whoops, let's go into solid mode. I'm gonna select the camera. G, Y, rotate on the Z. I'm gonna do control O on the camera. Okay, so we got this. Now I'm just gonna render a small little portion. So I did control B, whoops, sorry. I did control B and I'm just going to render that little area and I've bumped up the samples up to 500. So the render might take a little bit longer, uh, F12. So we can see up here that how fast the sampling is going. And we can see we've pretty much got no fireflies on there, which is pretty good. You have to remember as well, the resolution we're rendering is 1920 by 1080, but we're doing it at 50%, so it's half the image. So if I bump that up even more, so now we've got these kind of like four squares to render. So it's gonna take a little bit longer, but that to me looks quite nice. What I'm gonna do is I'm now gonna press escape. Um, now to get rid of this box, control B off the screen, off the camera, and that gets rid of it. I want to get rid of this character. Let's hide him. Let's go back into camera view. And what I'm going to do is I will press F12 and I will render this out and then we'll come back. So coming back to it, this is our render. It's taken two minutes, which isn't too bad, I guess. Um, the only thing is, is this spot here, this is where kind of like the direct sunlight's meant to hit. Um, but I mean, that's fine. It's not very noticeable. Uh, the other thing that we didn't do is the controls here. But I mean, other than that, it looks quite nice. Let's, you know what, let's just do a 
Oops, let's do zero again, rotate on the Z, and let's just have a look. Whoa, GY. Let's have a look what the engine kind of looks like. Uh, rotate, not T, rotate on the X axis. And let's have a look. What does all this look like? So F12, and we'll let that run now. So there we go, that's the render underneath. That actually looks really nice. I am very, I'm very happy how that turned out. I mean, even these nuts and bolts, well, the bolts here, let's just say, they're there. They could probably be a little bit more prevalent, but that's okay here. That looks nice. Um, I mean, we could always put a subsurface modifier on there and then smooth out those lines, but that's okay. I mean, that handle there, I think that just adds a little bit extra to that whole area. This engine glow, I'm really a fan of. Um, obviously, until the HDRI is a little bit low quality, but I didn't download the the largest one. I think I just went 2K res. Um, but yeah, this, yeah, I'm actually really happy with the ship, how it's turned out. Um, yeah, 